what's going on guys Angel here today coming with you with another video and today i'll be doing a full review of the jaybird x2 headphones so without further ado i hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs> So if you didn't watch the unboxing video of these headphones, I'll go ahead and give you a quick recap of what you got. So you're going to get the headphones, the case, the charger, Comply premium sport foam ear tips and small, medium and large. You're going to get your silicone ear tips and small, medium and large. You're going to get three sizes of your ear fins and three cable management pieces. I couldn't find the other cable management piece, but that is all that you're going to get in the box. So first I'll go ahead and give you guys the controls. And basically the first one is to turn it on. You just press and hold the tower on, but to pair, you have to power it on and then hold it for four seconds to turn the volume up. You just press the volume up button, press and hold the volume up button to fast forward your song. And then for volume down, just press the volume down button, of course. And if you press and hold the volume down button, that will then rewind your song. And if you press and hold it for really long, it will then make go back to your previous song. And finally, to power off your Jaybird headphones, all you have to do is press and hold the power button for five seconds. One thing that I really like about Jaybird's control panel is that it allows you to really feel the buttons that you're pressing and it gives a firm click like you can actually feel that you're clicking the button so that was really nice as well now i'll go ahead and talk about the ear tips and ear fins as well so i'll first start off with the foam tips the foam tips are very light you really don't even feel them actually in your ear once they go in um, it's simply all you have to do is basically squish them down squish the mini foam tips down uh, put them on the ear tip and insert them into your ear hold the Jaybird headphone for at least 30 seconds and it should have Compacted to your uh, ear canal now for the silicon ear tips. They feel really good I like that they're sweat resistant, especially when I'm running and working out I definitely like to use those and another thing that I really like is that it, they seem to give a little more oomph when you are listening to bass heavy songs. Um, I don't know, the foam tips still give the bass, but I definitely would say to me, it feels like that the silicon gives a little more bass, I guess because of the free gel or whatever it is. Now for the ear tips, it seems to me that they are definitely great for people when it fits your ear. The ear fins did not fit my ear really well at all. Um, I looked at many different ways how to put these uh, fins in your ear and I just couldn't figure it out. They just wouldn't fit in my ear I got one side just a little bit, but other than that I just couldn't get it So I really can't give a bad review about it But from what I hear they do stay in your they do help stay in your ear well another thing that I want to talk to you all about is the Bluetooth connection as well as the battery life so first the battery life is outstanding for a pair of Bluetooth headphones and or earbuds but they do last a very long time i didn't have to go without charging them i actually usually would charge them overnight if anything and i just never had a problem with that but for connection wise sometimes it tended to skip in uh the songs but i think that was also because of my connection with my bluetooth um, stuff was interfering it with it that way but when i went outside they worked really well so I didn't have a problem with that. But other than that, uh, the headphones are really good. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the sound. Uh, so when I first got these headphones, I wasn't really hearing a difference in, in any other headphone that I was listening to. But then I changed the equalizer. And that is when things start getting different. From then on, those headphones sounded phenomenal. They were outstanding in highs and lows. The mids were great. It sounded like you were hearing a 3D sound without having 3D sound in the headphones. So honestly, and I'd definitely give it at least a 4.7 out of 5. These are some great headphones. They're probably the best headphones I've heard that were Bluetooth wireless for me. And I'd probably say they're right up there with some of the best headphones that I've actually listened to that are wired. Now, this was my first pair of Jaybird headphones that I've actually bought, but this won't be my last pair. That's definitely for sure. I'll probably get the X3s 
very soon but for now these will definitely be a daily driver of mine so i really can't wait to use these even more on a trip or something now i didn't make a video of the comparison yet of the smoking bud 2 headphones by skull candy but i will say they definitely aren't really comparable but skull candies those skull candy headphones are definitely a great pair of bluetooth wireless headphones to get for under 50 dollars so i definitely would recommend that but you just really can't compare something when something's originally like 80 to 100 dollars and something that's basically you can get for almost 40 and maybe even low as 35 but those headphones are definitely a great pair to get like i said for under 50 they sound great they give a lot of bass but these jaybird headphones give an upgrade on basically everything so i will say i definitely recommend these jaybird x2 headphones i can't wait to buy the x3s very soon i hopefully will get a review out for that i will have the jaybird x2 headphones in the link description below as well as the skull candy smoking bud 2 headphones also i hope you all really did enjoy today's video and don't forget to follow me on my social media feeds and until next time you guys peace out